because when you have known Jesus you must manifest Jesus and there are four ways of manifesting Jesus number one is to sustain the consciousness sustain the consciousness do you know what the devil is doing every day the devil knows how spiritual things work so he wants to give you a wrong consciousness because reality flows through consciousness so every news you hear is about fear about death about sickness about immorality about worldliness to choke your consciousness because consciousness is not just knowledge it's a threefold reality consciousness is awareness and it migrates to harmony and it migrates to oneness consciousness begins from awareness when you know these things you are aware of it then you stay there in meditation until you begin to align it's like coming to the same realm of vibration what we call resonance in physics when you when you are conscious of a reality and you keep your your focus there a point comes you begin to vibrate at the same frequency with that reality so you can no longer be separated from that reality and a point comes you become one with that reality so in colossians chapter 3 from verse 1 to 3 paul said if we say we are dead with christ and we are risen with him he said three things number one he said let our affections be on the things that are above where christ is let our focus let our uh, uh, attention let our affection be on those things that are above but look at christians today they are thinking house rent they are thinking lost they are thinking failure they are thinking fear and they don't know why the christ in them cannot manifest they don't know why the glory in them cannot manifest and a point comes because they are barren of these things the devil begins to whisper to them could this thing be a lie so they descend from glory and walk like ordinary men and the bible said i've seen an abomination upon the face of the earth he said princes are trekking white beggars are riding on horses so those of us who should be carriers of healing we are the ones in the hospital begging doctors to help us those of us who should answer the questions of humanity we are the ones crying and looking for hope from government those of us who should be the light of the world we are the ones groveling in darkness hoping that somebody will bring light it's called an abomination under heaven but the reason men deteriorate to the abominable level is because their consciousness were wrong if you are risen with christ let your affection be on the things above and you know what the difficult thing is that evil religion have gone further to weaken our consciousness because what religion does is to push the works of christ aside and exhort the works of man and so today you have people talking big things about themselves not about jesus and the question is is it a man you should look at or christ paul said when i preach my gospel in galatians 3 from verse 1 they say what i did was to make christ evident manifested and manifestly crucified so when paul teaches you are seeing the image of jesus christ and the more you see it the more consciousness heightens and the more consciousness heightens the more you become one because you move from awareness into harmony into oneness and when oneness is achieved when people see you they can't differentiate you from christ then you can speak like john as he is so are we in this world and so if there's no sickness in him there's no sickness in you if there's no defeat in him there's no defeat in you if there's no failure in him there's no failure in you if there's no death in him there's no death in you and so whatever the devil throws at you your consciousness will overcome it when there's no money in your account you say i am loaded because i bring money to, to bear i bring money to reality i am not rich because there's money in my account i am rich because i i, I am the value that creates money consciousness there's a growth on your body you tell the devil what is the meaning of this are you not aware that i'm bam in gilead are you not aware that i am healing in 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 motion because if we lay hands on the sick they recover if the hand is connected to me how can sickness be in me because the life flows out of me through my hands in the name of jesus die 
and the matter ends there and even if he remains there for three days you are not afraid you know he has no choice but to die because your consciousness is superior to your experience that's christianity the first way to activate this reality is by consciousness don't let anything make you think apart from what the bible says i know you may not be married i know you may have sickness struggling with battles of sickness i know things may not be working don't let it enter your mind if it gets your consciousness you are finished no matter how long light joy comes in the morning that's how the apostles were thinking they say our light affliction are but for a moment they work for us an exceeding weight of glory do you know what paul was calling light affliction he was calling 39 strokes of the cane light affliction he was calling many shipwrecks light affliction he was calling imprisonment light affliction he was calling hopelessness in many situations light affliction there was a time they were in asia he said they came to the point of death literally everything was not working but they had a consciousness they had a consciousness they had a consciousness that all of these things are a light affliction and what they are doing is that they are walking a protocol of glory that was the consciousness they carried and over and above all the circumstances they will always come out victorious this is christianity when you have encountered jesus it behoves you to build that consciousness that job that looks as if it has gone down will rise again that's the power of resurrection that your health that seems deteriorated will begin again is the power of resurrection and it's on your inside the second thing you do when you want to manifest this reality is to believe it no matter what we don't believe facts we believe truth there's a difference between truth and fact fact is what your environment call it truth is what it is in reality you are seeing a blue light here or a greenish light here because this ambience this light created this ambience if we off this light you will see the true texture of this place this place is dark now if you think this is green if they change the color of this light to red you will say ah was it red why you are yet contemplating they'll change it to blue and then you are wondering and the reason you can't believe in fact is that the god of this world is a god of the external realm it's called god of this world so he can manipulate the external and facts are based on external realities the devil has the authority to manipulate the external and so whatever the external is saying you will stick to what the word says and if you stay there over time what the word says we change what the external is because the word is designed to change the external he said he sustains all things by the word of his power but many have not built conviction if you are working in faith there are two levels when you start you will start by believing in god to change those things that's the young junior level of faith trust god and god answers trust god and god changes it that's the abrahamic order in romans 4 he said what did abraham our father found what he found was to believe god he said abraham believed god and it was counted to him for righteousness he staggered not at the promises of god through unbelief he was strong in faith giving glory to god so when you believe god god answers but faith doesn't stop there faith moves to the level of the faith of the son of god and in the level of the faith of the son of god you don't just believe god you talk to the mountain you don't talk to the mountain about you don't talk to god about the mountain you talk to the mountain about god so when you meet mountains you are not saying oh father come and remove this mountain no when you meet the mountain you say i come against you in the name of the lord god of israel i come against you in the name of jesus the resurrected christ be uprooted and the mountain we have no choice but to obey you that's the proof of conviction it's a faith that have works it's a faith that have action but many christians they don't have consciousness and they don't have faith they don't have conviction and the reason is because they either don't know it or they know it and they have not put it to work so you must move from the level of consciousness 
to believing enough to take an action that your visa that they denied you apply again that business that looks as if it has gone down go and pray receive strength start it again that ministry that looks as if it's failing go and pray start it did you study about the apostles there were cities they entered they flocked them they ran away entered another city and continued if you are a minister in lagos today and ministry fails here 20 years later you still be here and say they didn't no work that's not a ball there were many cities Paul entered ministry didn't work they beat him flog him he will stand up and say let's go to the next city ministry is not about city it's a move of god anywhere we go to ministry continues that's how business works we keep moving because we carry him put it to work let your conviction make you take action and then when you reach there you move to the third level talk it talk it everywhere talk it to everybody talk it to every being if you keep quiet your destiny will shut down i'm telling you why most of you are not manifesting these things and you know how faith works there's a level you get to if you don't experience it you will start disbelieving it and if you want to experience it you must talk it john romans 10 9 verse 10 if thou believest in thy heart that jesus is the son of god he died and rose from the dead and confess with your mouth he said you shall be saved he said with the heart man believeth unto righteousness with the mouth so what catapults you into the experience you are looking for is not with the heart it's with the mouth and many people are talking only the wrong things talking only things that takes them down and they are wondering why is god in me and it's not working it's because you say it's not working because you are the only one who thinks it's not working the angels know it's working jesus knows it's working the holy ghost knows it's working the father knows it's working even the devil knows it's working but the devil knows that until you say it's not working it's not working so he comes to you and whispers say it's not working and he said put me in remembrance of my word he said according to thy word thou shalt be justified and according to thy words thou shalt be condemned he said god is able to do exceeding abundantly above all you ask or think according to the power that is at work how does that power work by talking that's why he said i have put in your mouth the power of life and death he said you will eat the one you choose if you talk life you have life if you talk victory you have victory if you talk promotion you have promotion if you talk height you have height but most of us we believe god but we are talking evil we are talking failure he said let no one in zion say i am sick it doesn't mean some are not sick but don't say it say you are healed because it's in saying you are healed that you are healed is the principle of god in the beginning there was darkness god never said there's darkness god said light be faith is not denial of fact but it's refusal of fact to dominate you i know there's darkness but i will talk light i know there's sickness but i will talk life i know there's failure but i will talk victory and as i'm talking it a point comes it becomes my reality it becomes my reality and number four when god does anything testify many don't testify and that's why they are not made whole in luke 17 verse 17 to 19 he said 10 lepers were cleansed nine forgot one came back and jesus asked where are the nine he said they forgot to testify he said you that have testified you are made whole so when you find people who are established on the earth on every side they are testifiers God healed them but because they testified of healing business too starts working because healing does not begin and end with body some people are not sick in their body they are sick in their circumstances so God will heal everything around their lives because they understand the mystery of testimony in our world today you beg people to testify they still would and they say me I'm not the type that testify if you are not the type that testify you are also not the type that will be made whole The Christian life is a glorious life but you will live that glorious life if you have the revelation of Jesus Christ tomorrow morning I will talk to you about the new creation so that you will know who we really are because most of us don't know who we are the world has helped us to introduce ourselves to ourselves but that's not who we are they think we are the same we are not the same Jesus said these signs shall follow them 
that believe he say in my name they shall cast out devils that means we are people that command spirits we don't only talk to men we talk to spirits and they obey us he said if you lay hands on the sick they shall recover so we are answers of human problem and he said if you drink any deadly thing it can't hurt you we are an impregnable fortress a christian is not a religious man a christian is a moving wonder to his generation and when you know jesus then you become a true christian and so tomorrow i will show you who a new creation is rise up to your feet you know why i took my time to teach because this is the first session of the conference i need you to thoroughly understand what we have come here to achieve we have not just come here for people to be healed we have come here for many to become like christ